Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're going to see how your person's thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid and the roles could be reversed and only take what resonates. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. So let's get right into this. Great angel. Please protect me. I I do this reading for Sagittarius. Show me clear and honest messages for Sagittarius. <clears throat> okay. Spirit, how does this person feel about Sagittarius? Okay, so this person definitely wants to offer you something here. It could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, they want to offer you something solid here. I feel like they this person could be younger than you. Um, they want a fresh new beginning with you. Whether this is someone brand new, we'll find out, or if this is someone from your past, but there's like this aspect of wanting a fresh new start here. Um, and they want it to be stable and solid is what I'm also getting. Let's see. Anything else about how this person feels about Sagittarius, please? Spirit. <clears throat> okay. The Ten of Swords here. So, Sagittarius, if you feel like this is someone that um, you've had a very painful ending with, there was some sort of betrayal here, I feel like this person wants to start fresh. That's what this is. They want to offer you something solid here. It could be even like um, something like material, like let's move in together or what have you. Like, to start over, um, but there was definitely some sort of painful ending here. Tell me about that Ten of Swords, please, Spirit. Tell me about the Ten of Swords, please, Spirit. Yeah, okay, they want to heal it. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Okay, that's way too many. Um, they want to heal this painful ending. So whether it's between the two of you or they know that you have had a painful ending in your past or what have you, they want to heal that. They want to move forward here. Um, tell me more about that Ten of Swords, please, Spirit. The Ten of Cups, the Seven, the Pen, yeah. Okay, so whatever painful ending this was here, this person wants to heal it here. I feel like they want to get back to this happiness that they feel with you. They want to invest in this connection, um, you know, for the long term. I feel like they want to apologize here. And there's there's been a lot of, you know, ruminating on the past here with that Five of Cups energy as well. I feel like... Um, you know, what I'm getting is I feel like if, if this person was stuck in the past in some way, you know, maybe they had been hurt before, they want to move past that, they want to heal this, or if there's something that happened between the two of you that caused this painful ending, they're really wanting to get back to this happiness here with you. Could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. I feel like you might not have known that this person even was this upset about this painful ending here or the way that they felt about it. I feel like um, this person could have held back before, but yeah, they definitely want to move past this, this, this ending, this betrayal, this stabbing in the back, basically, you know, and that's going to look different for everyone. But, um, you know, and we have two tens back to back here as well. I feel like, you know, this is someone significant. This is someone who was, I mean, there's no coincidences, I believe, but there's, this is definitely someone who, is meant to come into your life, you know, everything's a blessing or a lesson. Sometimes it starts as one, ends as another, but yeah, this person's definitely like when my cards start to sync up, it's like the universe aligning, right? Like this is supposed to be happening. Um, yeah, they definitely want to heal and apologize too, actually. That's how they feel. So let's do their actions in the next two to four weeks. Could be a little more, could be a little less. Tell me about this person's actions towards Sagittarius, please, Spirit.
The Five of Wands, okay. Tell me more about this Five of Wands, please, Spirit. The King of Wands could be dealing with a, another fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Um, okay, so... If this person feels like you have other options or there's like competition for you here, I feel like they're they're going to fight for this. That's what I'm getting. I feel like th there is a, a bit of an ego here, I have to say. I feel like this person goes back and forth between I'm going to come forward passionately towards, um, you know, Sagittarius and I'm going to be charming and win them over and let them know how much they mean to me and, and be, yeah, like show, show their passion for you versus them sitting on their high horse and not really doing much um that's what i feel like this back and forth is here so tell me more spirit about the five of wands the knight of swords yeah like this person they're gonna rush in here they want to fight for this like if they feel like there's other people involved in some way maybe because you you know there's been a separation period or you two ended like you know and you have every right to move on i feel like this person wants to rush in here it's like urgent that they speak to you it's urgent that they do this it's urgent that they let you know that they're not going anywhere um but they go back and forth they juggle they go back and forth tell me about that two of pentacles please spirit The four ones. Okay. So you could have already been in a higher level commitment with this person. Whoa, I hope that got caught in camera. That was like flu. Um Wow. <laughs> wow. You could be dealing with a Gemini here. Um Okay, so what I'm getting is that this person definitely sees you as it. You are it with that Empress card and this lover's energy here. They cannot deny how they feel about you, Sagittarius. This is, you know, I, I feel like there was a time where they were kind of just focusing on themselves, focusing on their money, focusing on um, their independence here. And that could have been what led to this heartbreak or this ending because you felt like they didn't even give you the time of day. But I feel like the time has come where they're realizing like this, they cannot deny how they feel about you. This empress and lover's energy here is telling me this person knows there's no one better than you. Um, you know, you are the divine feminine. There's no gender in tarot. So even if you're a male Sagittarius here, I feel like this person feels like you're very loving, you're very nurturing, you're very abundant um, in so many ways. There's just, you, this person could want children with you. You know, there's a lot of, there's a deep connection here. There's a deep, deep, deep connection here. Um, I feel like it almost like scares this person out. This could be twin flame. With this four of wands and the lovers here this could be a twin flame energy where there's been you know and the twin flame is there's a runner and there's a chaser the, the you get together there's this undeniable connection between the two of you like this lover's energy here um but then you start to trigger each other and when you start to trigger each other because you are each other's mirror so if this person has you know uh fear of intimacy fear of intimacy issues fear of commitment or what have you um and one of you has codependency issues, um, fear of abandonment. One of you is the runner and one of you is the chaser, right? So then one of you runs and the other one chases. And this could go on for years. And then when, you know, um, the chaser stops chasing, the love doesn't stop, but the chasing does because it's like, you know, like what, like, what the fuck? This person's not giving me anything here. And chasing could just be messaging. Chasing could just be thinking about them. Um, then the runner gets triggered energetically and it's like, whoa, my chaser stopped chasing me. And then they come back and they become the chaser. So during that separation period, if you both, you know, um, healed your your wounds, basically, your, your uh, codependency issues or your fear of intimacy issues, and you can come back together and both be spiritually evolved, then you can come 
together and, and have a, have a relationship, you know, that's like no other because it's twin flame, but there's still going to be obstacles, obviously. But so this could be twin flame here where there's been this separation period here. There was this painful ending between the two of you. And this person really wants to get back to the happiness here. This person could have been the runner. Now they're becoming the chaser with divine timing here. They're, they, they're, they've learned some things and they want to come back, you know, and sometimes what happens is when the twin flames come back together, the, ch the original chaser is like too little too late you know or the lessons haven't been learned you know twin flames don't always come into union we'll see what's going to happen here but i feel like this person has always known that it's been you here that's what i'm getting so let's see their intentions what's this person's intentions please spirit what is this person's intentions with sagittarius the eight of cups And the two of cups. Okay, so I was waiting for confirmation on what that would have meant. So it could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There's Gemini here. There's Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, Aries, Leo, Sag. That, okay, so I feel like this person wants to emotionally walk away from things that no longer serve them. And they want to come together here with you with that two of cups energy here. They feel like you're it. The two of cups and the lovers is on the board here. They want union here with you. Sagittarius and you know usually when I feel this type of energy I, f I feel more like excited about it but I honestly I'm getting the the energy from someone whether it's you or this person take it how it resonates that someone's just like kind of like you got to prove it to me that's what I'm getting like I'm not getting like oh my gosh I'm so happy you're back like let's be together I'm getting like okay like we'll just see how this goes because yeah I care about you but like we got to pay attention to like our history or like what's happened before. That's what I'm getting. But this person's intention is to, you know, the eight of cups is, is walking away from things that don't serve you anymore. So if this person, you know, was doing or saying things that just wasn't helping at all themselves or the union, they want to walk into their two of cups here with you. There's a lot of love here. There's a lot of love here, especially when it's twin flame, like twin flame journeys are not easy. There's a deep, strong magnetic pull that you cannot explain. It's like hard to get away from, but that's the lesson, right? It's to separate and to evolve spiritually and then come back together if you've both evolved. Anything else for this person's intentions here, spirit? The moon, and yeah, they were, you could be dealing with the Pisces. They, they were fearful and they want a second chance here. I'm strongly feeling twin flame, but we'll see what comes out. But they want another chance here. Their intention is to do this right. I feel like they've been looking at themselves, looking inwards, like judging themselves and being like, what do I need to change here? And they're hoping that you see the same. They, they don't want to be fearful anymore with that moon card. They don't want to not tell you everything. They don't want to keep secrets. They don't want to not let you in on what they might be feeling. They want another chance here with that judgment card. So let's see the potential outcome here. What's the potential outcome between Sagittarius and this person, please, Spirit? Thank you for the messages so far. So we got strength. Could be dealing with a Leo. The Ace of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. So it's like this person wants a brand new beginning here with you, just like the Ace of Pentacles at the very beginning. They want a fresh new start here. This is a lot of passion. There's a lot of chemistry between the two of you. I feel like there's this aspect of they can still kind of hold back at times, but mostly what I'm getting is they, they've always held on to you. They want to nurture this connection. I feel like stability is important here, you know, and I can't help but notice the King of Pentacles is on the board as well for their actions towards you. They could have been in their king of pentacles, like building their empire, getting their money up, what have you. But it's like now for the potential outcome, like I feel like they want to come together here with you. They want you by their side. They want to, whatever they've been working on, spiritually, mentally, materially, they want to share it with you, especially materially here with that um, king, queen of pentacles here. Anything else here for the potential outcome? Whoa okay yeah so they definitely want to work on this they want to move to calmer waters here with you i feel like there's like they're they're planning how to come forward here and i feel like they're always going to kind of be looking forward as to like how they can make this work and how they can do better how how what effort can they put in here so you know sagittarius if you're sitting there and you're like the painful ending that happened between the two of us was way too much there's been too much time what have you that's your journey right you can say no to this you have free will 
right? But it looks like this person wants to put the work in here. You could be at a distance from this person as well, like physical distance. But this person wants a fre fresh, brand new beginning. They want to nurture this connection. They want to put the work in to make this work. So if this works for you, they definitely, they're like, yeah, they want this for sure. For sure. Okay, so let's keep going here. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius here? So we got camera, reminiscing, making memories, learn from the past, perception. Learn from the past is really standing out for me. We got shock, sudden change, shocking news, surprise and epiphany, transformation. It's interesting because when I was shuffling, I kept seeing the tower. The tower didn't come out, but I do feel like this is going to kind of come out of nowhere here. But it's like time, right? It's like the Wheel of Fortune's on the board too. It's divine timing. It's like time for the new cycle to start. This person wants commitment here with you though. With that four of wands, that empress, that lovers. Yeah, two of cups. Yeah, 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 for sure. Look at that. As soon as I said that, engagement ring. Higher commitment, eternity, partnership and union, completion. Yeah, this person definitely wants commitment here with you. Sagittarius, like it's, yeah. So if you weren't, you know, engaged before that, I feel like this person wants that higher commitment, eternity, partnership and union completion. Yeah, sorry about that. I got a phone call, so I had to answer that. But um, let's see, let's see what else. Any other messages here? The chaser, fear of abandonment, chasing, codependency. So one of you could have been the chaser here. That's half of a twin flame union. So we'll see what else comes out. Heartbroken, deeply hurt and sad, feeling lost, grieving in despair, breakup. There's that Ten of Swords energy. There's a lot of pain here. But with pain comes growth. Oh, there it is. Sagittarius, twin flames, yin yang and balance, union and duality, complement, polar opposites. I'm telling you, heavily feeling twin flame here. We got cut down, cutting out, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment. And then we got love. I rarely get these two together because there's not a lot of red cards in this deck, but unconditional love, self-love and wholeness, affection and attraction, selflessness. I mean, again, Sagittarius, use your discernment. If you're like, sorry, too little, too late, that's fine. But like, yeah, this person definitely has a lot of love for you. They want this higher level of commitment here. Um, strongly feeling twin flame energy here. Any other messages here for Sagittarius? We got grounding, stability and security, performance, growth and endurance. We got addiction, codependent, obsession and restraint, possession and control, emotional block. So I'm, I'm strongly feeling emotional block, but I mean actual addiction could be part of this as well. We got mirror, which is exactly what twin flames do. Mirroring each other, self-reflection, introspection, inner wounds. Hammer, sabotage and rebuild, persistent, working on it, repairing. Ship, cutting ties, moving on, receive what you need, progression and arriving. They said one more, so that's a lot. But Soulmates, beautiful, soul connection, partnership, so partnership, soul contract, life partner. Soul contract is really, really standing out for me right now. I mean... Sag, if you want this with them, it looks like it looks good, right? A brand new beginning here. Wanting to work on it. A lot of passion too. Use your use your discretion though. Okay, so I got a brand new deck, the Hidden Truth Oracle. All my decks are listed down below. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius here? We need to let each other go. I feel like this could have been prior energy where it was like you had to. You had to let each other go to learn the lessons and then come back together. So maybe it should have said we needed to let each other go, but take it how it resonates. You could feel like that right now. You could be like, no, we need to let each other go right now. So any other messages for Sagittarius, please, Spirit?
You were the best thing in my life. I wish I could take back my words. I hid who I really am from you. I feel like there's a couple more. Any other messages? Please, Spirit, for Sagittarius. Thank you for the messages so far. I wish things could be different. And I'm also seeing I left when I saw you with someone. So if you feel like that's relevant. Oh, they did say one more. Okay. There it is. I want to be more than friends. And I left you before you could leave me. I feel like someone needed to see that especially because it wasn't it wasn't about you it was a fear of abandonment that's what i'm getting on this person's end so let's see spirit what messages do you have for sagittarius here you're very close to achieving your goal you are good enough and expect powerful change. Probably my favorite card in this deck. And then I also see the answers you need are coming. So let's see, Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius here, please? Look for a sign. So, you know, one of my favorite things to do is ask the universe for specific signs. You can literally ask for whatever you want. You could be like, show me a snowman on a truck. <laughs> or something like that. Show me, I always ask for like random colored cars. Show me a bright purple car, or a bright yellow car. And every time I ask for it, it happens. If I'm looking for a sign for something, and then yes. Um, so if you could be like, you know, spirit universe, if so-and-so and I are meant to come back together, show me uh, a, a bright yellow car, and then you'll go for a walk and the bright yellow car will pull up beside you or something like that. But I mean, if that's not relevant where you are, just pick something that is. Um, there's also numbers you could be looking out for, doubles, triples. I always ask for triples. Um, so, yeah, look for a sign. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius here? We got all that glitters. Number 16. You could be seeing ones or sixes or even sevens. So let's read from the book. Sometimes we try to become something we're not to impress others. We embellish a story a bit, adding some dramatic elements to make us more appealing. The real person becomes hidden behind the sparkle and shine. Then there are times when we don't see the true value of someone else because he or she may not have the glitz and glamour that seems so desirable. Now is the time to look past the surface, beyond the mask, to the essence of a person. Who that person is, not what he or she has or can give you, is important. See beyond the glitter and look for the inner glow. Use the eyes in your heart. Let go of artifice and let what is authentic shine. Okay, so let's get some charms here for you. So these could be initials of you, this person, um, numbers you've been seeing, birth dates, what have you. Take it how it resonates. But if something here doesn't resonate with you, it does not mean it's not your reading. Um, the S and the X are really standing out for me right now as well, just before I go into these. So we got Z, N, Y, H, U, L, Q, number seven, and number eight. Okay, Sagittarius, so I do hope something here resonated with you. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy. Love and light.